Coming to you from the Amazon Games community team, it's the Lost Ark Academy Debate Club with your host, straight out of the rocks box, it's Rocks. Welcome to the Lost Ark Academy Debate Club, where our Lost Ark players debate to prove they have what it takes not to be a Makoko. I'm Rox, and I'm here to make sure everyone follows the rules, both in-game and here in Makoko Village. You know, pretty basic stuff, like don't RMT, right, Makoko? My band ends tomorrow. Watch out, Arcasia. All right, this show is brought to you by the Amazon Games community team. We're here to have a good time because that's really what community is all about. All right, it's time to kick off our very first episode of the Lost Ark Academy Debate Club. For the first time, let's bring out our debaters. Straight from the creator program, here's Grenton. There you go, look at that, so gallant. All right, Grenton, come over here, uh, take your place, and why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are, what you do, how you are as a creator. Sure, I mean, most people in the Lost Ark Discord will know me for my spicy takes. The rest of you might know me for tweeting about 166 days in a row for the Reaper class to come out, and, uh, if you watch my stream, you probably are very well aware of my receding hairline. All right, I guess they can see that here too. Yeah. Um, but you know, is it it's extra special on your stream or something? Yes. Okay, we'll take it. Next up, we have Boba Jenny. Hello, Hi. welcome, welcome. All right, Boba Jenny, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Boba Jenny, and you guys might call me a warden literally like all the time, but I actually just want to have fun and welcome old and new players to Lost Ark and lead them out of Azkaban, of course. Perfect, yes. You are the guide to get folks out of jail, it sounds like. Lovely thing to be. All right, next up we have Stoops. Hello everyone, my name is Stoops, also known as Mr. Igubaba El Shisha El Guapimo, and I'm here because I love fish, mococos, and rocks because she shut down the forms and I need my skins. <laughs> Thank you. All right, next up we have Dat Mods. Yay, Dat Mods. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, why don't you let everyone know a little bit about yourself? Hey guys, I'm Chris. Most of you guys know me as Mods. I enjoy playing off meta builds that no one else plays because things are cheap, hosting learning parties to get new players in end game raids, and uh, jailing this guy. And I heard this guy also knows you as Dad. Yeah. I call him Dad sometimes. <laughs> Over the next 12 episodes, these Lost Ark debaters will go head to head and show off their creativity, their knowledge, their experience, and whatever else they can come up with to prove that they do not belong here in Makoko Village and prove that they are not a Makoko or new player. But remember, none of these episodes actually matter. It's all just practice for the live finale where you, the community, will vote on who is not a Makoko. Anyway, let's get started and head into our warm up debate. This is going to be a two versus two debate with Grenton and Boba Jenny versus Stoops and Dat Mods. The only rule here is that there are no rules. Get it all out of your system now before our serious 1v1 debate later. For our warm up debate topic, we are going to be debating which Brawl Shaza gate is easiest to get jailed in. So, Grenton and Boba Jenny, you will be arguing for gate five. Dat Mods and Stoops, you will be arguing for gate six. I'll give you all a minute to strategize. I gotta go on their huddle again. I have to catch, like I said. That's then, one way yeah. to strategize. The, the hard part is shapes. shapes. If you've made it this far into the episode, you're probably wondering, what is this? What is the Lost Ark Academy Debate Club? Well, let me tell you. We know players have a lot of opinions. They like to argue, say lots and lots of things about Lost Ark and all of its different content and features. There's almost an endless amount of online arguing and discourse, some of it more fun than others. From, you know, raids, skins, RMT, just kidding, that was just the Makoko. You can't really debate that. Please stop RMTing. Please, please, please. Our CS team is so tired. But, you know, we thought what better place to debate against each other, share our opinions about these things, than a debate club itself. It seems like kind of a layup. We hope you enjoy it, and we're definitely curious to see what you would say about some of these debate topics. Let us know your opinions, let us know your arguments, let us know how you would argue for certain things, and we'll be listening. We're always listening. All right, back to the show. <laughs> All right, there was some strategizing happening, I think, so we're gonna move right into our warm-up debate. Debaters, are you all ready? 
Yep. Perfect. All right. Here you go. The hardest math in gate five is placing shapes in a hole. And I know what you're going to say, that you rely on both people. If one person doesn't get it, you don't get the shape. Okay, six, everyone has to know where the meteors go, and if they drop it in the wrong tile, it's pretty much over, and there's multiple gold meteors, yeah. multiple raid white mechanics, and you can no. get knocked off the map. No. You can't even get knocked off in gate five. Yeah, gate five, there's more times for you to wipe, though. Like one I know person. you think it's hard, Boba Jedi. Okay. I know, I know okay. you think it's hard. I don't run I'm, with I'm the verse. I'm just, I, I can go with random people in my <laughs> Jedi do all the time. No, 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 no. Because gate six is more of like a DPS check. You hold your DPS, you do the mech once, you got spare tiles, and then you just go at it. That's okay. about it. Yeah, but you, have, you have room okay, for error. Okay, so sell me on gate five, why it's hard. Because you have to have two people to put in the same place. And if we're talking Drop about hard grill, you got to be careful which alignment to a, a you're supposed and, to do. But you already do that with the meteors. You already have people go to the same spot and drop something. So you have one raid it's leader plus You have four. one raid leader calling where to drop your meteors in gate six. In gate five, it changes if you're going times three or times three plus one. Not only that, you can only f*** up once. You exactly. can't f*** up twice on both shapes. You can't f*** up a gold meteor, it's over. Yeah, yeah, one gold meteor, one it's over. But you can, gold, you can you the white meteors. But you only did that two you times. Can the white. You no have safety meteors. squares yeah, in gate just six. Looks yeah, but in gate five, you don't have overlapping you. mechanics once you're doing your shapes. Yeah, of course you, you do. Damage. You have no, the no, mechanics. No, no, you have no, the no. on the ground. Damage. You have the beams down the middle. No, no, no. You stop damage. Everyone's sitting around on the edge. Okay, does everyone got two, four, six, eight? Oh, counting's hard. And then you go to the mechanics. Yeah, that's why Snoop finds gate six hard, I guess. You just feel like, oh, why am I being dragons? He's like, <laughs> oh, do I have to go to time? I've lost your streams. Counting is not your strong one. suit. I can count what you can't count or the meteors because you haven't cleared that yet. You haven't cleared any of them yet. I Only she has. Though. And it took her like two weeks to clear that yeah, thing. I saw the little picture on I Twitter. Was gone. It took a long ass time. I, was I saw gone. that. I was AFK. I was, I'm getting bullied by people that haven't cleared the fight. <laughs> I don't know. It's not fair. <laughs> I mean, like, I just feel like gate six is more forgiving, though, because no, it's not more you forgiving. can have two not, or three people die. Gate six, and you, can you clear need it. a certain amount of people live at the end to do the counter mech, and then yeah, all sort of people. burst down. Like three I know people. why you guys think gate five is hard, because it's the one that takes to get to gate six. And if you can't clear gate five, you're not going to clear gate six. The only thing that's difficult about gate six is the length of the fight and getting to the end. That's it. Gate five. Have you made it to the up, end? Of course. I made no, it to no, the no, seven bar. you have a picture man. of the horns and everything on hard mode? No, but I made it okay. to the seven bar. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's that, fine. I mean, I mean, you can Photoshop oh, so wait, it. So you were able yeah. to clear gate five, but not gate six. You didn't clear gate five. Yes, I did. I saw him there doing oh. it. He said he cleared gate I'm five. I'm on gate six. on like, You should go with Bubba Jenny. Maybe she can help you. <laughs> I mean, it's like, like a verse helps you, right? I'm But like, keep in mind, like we are normies, so we don't have as much time. We work corpa jobs. Yeah, okay. You just sit at home and pet your cat and play Lost Ark all day. Yeah, but Lost Ark is the life. Yeah. That's why I'm here, baby. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, Lost Ark respects your time, though. So <laughs> the thing is, it should be easy for you guys to do the raid. Yeah, you're right. You're right. All right. Lost Ark I think that was our warm up debate. Brandon, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> I was gonna run away. <laughs> you are all very warm, so we're gonna go ahead and head into our commercial break. When we get back, we will kick off our 1v1 debate. Hi everyone, let's talk about something that's already been on everyone's mind. Dat mods. Dat mods. He's getting there. He's old. How many more years can he see shapes, colors, or alliance? How is he going to share his wealth on the streamer client when he's one tapping, two tapping, hitting 100 qualities? He's free to play? Plus, 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 plus. It doesn't end there. I know how you feel. So vote for me in the live finale of the Lost Ark Academy Debate Club you know that I am the only choice. Welcome back to the Lost Ark Academy Debate Club. It's time to get serious with our 1v1 debate. In this debate, the first contestant will have one minute to make their argument, second contestant will have one minute to make theirs, and then each will be given one additional minute for a response. Today we have Datmods and Stoops arguing, 
whether to bus or not to bus. The spectators will join me on listening in closely and we will decide a winner. So to bus or not to bus, Stoops, I think you're going to argue for not busing today mm. and at mods you will argue for busing. Okay. I'll give you all a minute to strategize. <laughs> all right guys. Um I don't know why they're both in the exact they're same thinking pose. They're thinking <laughs> pose. Weird. How do you guys feel about busing personally? I know it's very very contentious. I don't know because you know, I understand that sometimes new raids can be a little bit difficult to get used to, but ultimately I feel like you should, you know, just enjoy the game as it is. I don't know. I'm a goblin. I like gold. So if I can oh. triple my gold income from doing a raid, might as well do it. All right. So it sounds like we're coming in with some bias, which is totally okay. I love to hear it. Yeah. I never said I was going to be unbiased. That was never in my contract. It was not. So. I'm okay with that. That's not fair, man. <laughs> <laughs> none of this The is. whole point of a debate, right? Yeah, none of this To is. get someone to we, change we their mind. We didn't promise fairness. It's not an RT of us. That's Actually, true. it is. Don't look that up. All right, we've given them enough time to strategize. Do you all feel like you're ready? Yeah. Ready okay. to rumble. Okay, Stoops, go ahead and make your first <laughs> argument starting now. Listen, bearded man. I know you don't like busing, okay? Nobody likes busing. It incentivizes players to monetize gatekeeping, right? It makes money off gatekeeping in Lost Ark, which is something that a lot of new players experience, right? Essentially, you're just selling an entry ticket or a clear ticket to the raid. And in a new player, they come into the game, they spend all of this time grinding up their gear, going through the Hyper Express to do what a lot of people want to do in Lost Ark, which is the main course, it's the main dish. It's the end game, the Legion raids. And they're just monetizing that, and that's no different than selling a clear ticket in the cash shop. But most importantly, it takes away from the learning parties. It does require a lot of learn work to learn the raids, right? It's not easy to learn Legion raids, and it takes some time. So people are going to take the easy route and just pay a verse or somebody else to get a bus to the raid, right? But you need people to form these learning groups, and there are people that do want to do learning groups. And by having busing, you're taking away from that, and you're marketing it inside of the game in the party finder, and I think it's a terrible new player experience, and that doesn't even go right. into the inflation and everything that else. That is your one minute. That mods, one minute for your argument starts now. Okay, you make some really good points. Thank People you. bust for multiple reasons. One of the reasons is to challenge themselves, right? And by challenging themselves and charging for a bus, it also is an equalizer for free to play players. Not everyone swipes, not everyone has an 18 player roster. They might only play six characters in order to keep up and keep their gear up to date, and so they don't get gatekept is by offering buses and lower tier content that actually does help out new players because unfortunately Lost Ark doesn't respect your time sometimes, right? And just going in the party finder, sitting there for a long time, waiting for the new Makokos and stuff like that to get in there, it's very time consuming. So sometimes they just want to get in there real quick, get their gear so they don't fall farther behind. Also, there's raid anxiety. Not everyone wants to like go into a learning party, and some people just enjoy honing their characters. It's almost like collecting a car, but not working on it. So they want to get that relic gear, they want to get those better pieces, but they don't actually want to do the raids themselves. But the raids are fun and they are enjoyable, but it's not content that everyone enjoys. All right, Stoops, you have one minute to make a rebuttal. What does respect your time was the experience I had with you doing the Brel Shaza for the first time, right? You enjoyed that. Those are the memories that matter, right? And if you don't want to do the end game, if you don't want to do the raids, you shouldn't get the best gear in the game, right? You, you love grinding in video games. Mm -hmm. Why should people just wa just pay? Why, why can't you just buy Legion raid gear in the cash shop then? Why don't they just sell everything, right? You have to put in some work in the end game. And what happens is then people, they're not going to do these learning groups, and they're just going to, hey, take off all of your armor, stand in the corner, and watch me kill this raid. And then those same people will end up in your Legion raids with a title that they didn't even earn, mm -hmm. and you get jailed, right? You don't even know who you're actually grouping with. You don't know if the title is real. You don't know if they put in any effort at all, right? So mm -hmm. I think that we need more learning, learning groups, and what new players need is a way for experienced players to interact with new players. And if you really cared about the challenge, why do you charge them? You care about the gold. You're trying to make way more gold. And mm -hmm. the idea that free-to-play players need all of that gold, why is it first and full level 10 gems on every character? All right, your one minute That's is not free up. That's ridiculous. Mods, one minute for your final response starts now. Okay. You made some really good points again there. And one of the biggest downsides of busting is people using titles and achievements and different accolades to infiltrate raids. But this is a player-created problem. Players, when they take the bus, 
for whatever reason, they should not use the things that they garner to get into raids that they're not qualified for. What they should do is they should use the power that they gain from the raids to make their own learning parties. So they'll actually learn the raid, but they'll have more power and it'll make it a little bit easier for them. In addition to that, <laughs> busing is... Keep your feelings inside, Steve. <laughs> 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 it's too hard to argue that. I need to like brainstorm. You got like 30 oh seconds goodness. to brainstorm. Yeah. I believe in you. Bussing. <laughs> good start, good start. <laughs> Bussing. It can be good in some situations. <laughs> All right, that is literally your time. A for effort, maybe. <laughs> All right, I'm going to bring the spectators over to talk about that, and we will decide who is and who is not a Makoko. Well, but Jenny, I actually want to start with you, because I know you have very strong opinions about busing. I mean, I can definitely get behind what Stoops is saying, but at the same time, you know, Maud saying that, you know, respecting time and everything, I do think that they both make pretty fair arguments. Obviously, I feel like one probably resonates more with the community than the other, but yeah. Cool. Uh, Granton, how are you feeling after that? Uh, kind of the same as, as Jenny. I, I'm a big busser. That's what I usually do. But Stoops got me thinking, which uh, is a rare Granton character development moment, I guess. But Damods, he had a point that I never thought of, which is Makoko's coming in and getting that power spike to make their own learning parties more, uh, more comfortable and a little bit easier and less punishing. And then I just feel like Stoops had a perfect segue into that with the... Uh, Sure, but now they're going to be imposters in your raid because they'll have that title and they'll have everything. So it's a tough one, yeah. but it's got me thinking, that's for sure. Cool, yeah. We definitely started with a very challenging topic, so I really appreciate everyone's insight, but I think we've come to a consensus. It was a heated debate, but dat mods. Yeah. Yeah? I'm ready. You sure? I think. Dat mods. You are a Makoko. No. <laughs> I feel really no. mean. But Stoops, so congratulations, you are not a Makoko. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I don't think I made the right decision based on that interaction. <laughs> All right, all right. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. And remember, it Bussing's doesn't really bad. matter. <laughs> Don't ride the he bus. He shouldn't be that excited at all because none of this matters. None of it matters until our live series finale, which will happen August 24th at 10 a.m. Pacific time on twitch.tv slash playlawstart. And you, the community, will all vote on who is and who is not a Makoko. All right, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next week on the next episode. Uh, you're already clapping. Thank you. Please clap for me. Bye. We'll see you next week on the next episode of the Lost Ark Academy Debate Club. If you're interested in watching more Lost Art content, be sure to like and subscribe because it helps us out.